Hello. In this video I'm going to show you how to make uh, how to use my ribbon script and how to make this kind of ribbons uh, where you have IK controllers, FK controllers and a bunch of deformers to manipulate the ribbon. You have amplitude, offset and twisting options. You can also use volume modifiers. You can scale it up and change the position of the volume. Uh, so I'm gonna guide you through the UI first and then do a practical example on how to make the ribbon. So first of all you will need a nerves curve to uh, create the, the ribbon. So we can go to curves surfaces then uh, go to EP curve. I'm gonna turn on the grid wireframe sorry and then create a nerves curve uh, with the default name. And now uh, since this is the kind of curve that we want, I can make it a guide. So, so first select the curve and then click on create guides. If you hide the mesh, you will see that there is a nerve surface created inside there. So I'm going to go through the options of the UI to see what kind of ribbons you, you can make. First of all, you have naming convention. This is the different the naming that you want to give to the different elements of the joint of the ribbon sorry then you have control creation to manipulate the shape and the color of the controllers and then you have the main section of the UI which is the ribbon creation over here you can give it a name you can select the number of bones I'm gonna put 10 bones and then five controllers for example controller scale this is just for um, scale of a visual scale of the controller. I think one is okay, but I'm just go I'm gonna give it a two, and then the width of the ribbon. Uh, the width of the ribbon is the width of the nerve curve. So if I clear the guides and change this to three, sorry, create guides, then um, you see that the width of the ribbon change. If I change it to ten changed uh, the width it's set to 10 uh, I think in this case one is okay so now that we have the width and the controller organized we need to uh, determine the direction of the ribbon this is the direction in which the nerve surface is created what this means is uh, if we create it in the x-axis the ribbon will be the width of the ribbon will be created on the x-axis. If I um, select the direction Z, then uh, as you can see here, the world space Z direction is this way, which is aligned with the nerve curve. If I create the nerve curve, uh, the width will be zero. So you need to be careful here. You can never uh, create the direction in the same way the nerve curve is created. So avoid using the same direction because the width uh, will be zero and then the joints will flip so be careful here uh, you can either in this case you can either select Y pointing Y up or X uh, it's important that the n the surface doesn't flip along the way so in this case X direction works fine then uh, we have a bunch of checkboxes here I'm gonna go through the bottom ones first. Add FK. This is only if you want to add FK controllers. I usually leave this as default. Uh, it's checked as default. Then if you want to add deformers to the ribbon, these are the deformers I showed previously where you have shine, volume, twist, and roll. And you can select which ones you want to add. And then you can also parent to hierarchy if you want. If you already have a rig in the scene, you can parent the joints to the joint hierarchy, parent the controllers to the controller hierarchy, and parent the extra nodes to any extra group that you have in your rig. Since we don't have a, 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 an original rig in the scene, then I'm not going to check this checkbox. And then you have a diff another option called attach ribbon to both ends. First of all, I'm going to create a ribbon without this option and show you how it works. So we have the nerve curve, nerve surface. You don't need to select anything. You can just go ahead and click on create ribbon and this created the ribbon so as you can see 
we have IK controllers, which are the yellow ones, and you also have FK controllers. If um, this arrow here is the master controller, which has a lot of attributes here, and uh, some of them are the visibility, you can expand the visibility of these um, controllers, which are controllers for individual joints, and then the nerve surface. With the nerve surface visibility on, we can start uh, adjusting the deformers so we can see how it, how they work. So for example, shine, you see that it gives a shine to the nerve curve. And last thing we need to do is to bind it to a mesh. I have a cylinder already created here, so what I need to do is select all of the bind joints. If I go to the hierarchy, the hierarchy is divided by different groups, joint group, controller group, and the extras group. Uh, so whatever is inside the joint group, these are the bind joints. So I need to select all of them, select the mesh, go to skin, bind skin. And the mesh is already binded to the joints. As you can see, it needs a little bit of smoothing and this is just default bind options. But you can see uh, how it works. And from here we can start uh, using some some deformers, volume deformer, you can use the, adjust the position, shine, and everything works together. So you can use all of them at the same time. Then you have the roll. Right now with shine and roll, it's a little bit tricky to make it work properly. But if you just use the roll and adjust the position, you see that it rolls properly. You can also adjust the angle and the position. There you go. Um, this is the default way to make a ribbon in a straight line, but you can also make it with any kind of nerve curve that you create. Let's say that you make a weird shape nerve curve. You can adjust the CV points. So it's a super weird nerve curve. But if you select it and create the guides, you will see that it will create guides properly. Uh, this one is flipping. This is what I was talking about before. So as you can see, it's um, the normals are pointing up, but at this section, the normals are pointing down. This will make the joints, the bind joints flip. So we need to be careful here and select an option, a direction option that doesn't make the ribbon flip. In this case, it's Y axis. I'm gonna make the width a little bit bigger so you can see it better. But in this case, everything it's uh, it pointing in the same direction. So all of the normals are pointing in the same direction. It's not flipping. If I choose the set direction, this is another option that will work uh, that won't make the joints flip. But if I choose direction X, X, you see over here, I at some points, uh, actually, I think it will work fine with direction X. And we can create a ribbon. If I sew the nerve uh, surface, then we have the same kind of setup. Now, finally, I'm going to show you the difference between attached ribbon to both ends, checked and not checked. As you can see here, I have two different uh, ribbon setups. I'm going to show the nerve surface for both of them, which is pointing down. And the one here, it's built without the attached ribbon to both ends. As you can see, if you check this checkbox, then add FK uh, gets enabled to checked. Uh, they are not compatible. So the difference between uh, um, attached ribbon to both ends and not having it is that if you grab the last controller, um, it will only move that last controller, but if you have this option checked, attach ribbon to both ends, and you move the last controller, it will move all of the controllers at the same time. Uh, same with the first controller. So you can um, have a different setup in case this is useful for you. It depends on the kind of setup and the kind of rig that you want to make. 
uh, sometimes it's useful for example if you're building a tail for an animal this one is probably more useful since you, since you don't want to attach the last controller to any other point so you can uh, grab the FK and start manipulating it but if you want to attach it to both ends then the setup might work better for you and this is it. If you have any question, please contact me. I will try to answer as soon as possible. Thank you very much.